What's up guys? I want to go over some differences between introverted thinking and extroverted thinking. I know in my example videos I use the terms induction and deduction a little bit liberally, so I apologize to anyone that I confused, and I want to take this opportunity to explain these terms a bit more clearly. So induction as a word has multiple different definitions, one of which is mathematical induction, which can be correlated to introverted thinking. Now, here's where it starts to get a bit confusing because mathematical induction can also be an example of deductive reasoning, even though this one is induction and this is deductive and deduction can sometimes mean inductive reasoning and reasoning doesn't necessarily mean logic. And as you can see, it's a bit confusing. Um, if you have never heard of these terms before, don't worry. I'll try to explain them as best as I can. I just don't want this to be as confusing as um, FI and FE, you know, with which one's sympathy, which one's empathy, which one's the one where I put myself in another person's shoes, that sort of thing. So I like to think of TI as a form of oops, deductive reasoning or mathematical induction. An example of this would be, say we have our first premise that all introverted functions are subjective. The next premise is TI is an introverted function. Our conclusion can be that because all introverted functions are subjective and TI is an introverted functions, Therefore, we can logically assume that TI will be a subjective cognitive function. In other words, if this is true, and we can assume and verify that this is true, then the conclusion must be true. In other words, if A equals B and B equals C, then A must equal C. So if a TI DOM would process this information, they'd be more willing to allow it to enter their internal framework and understanding of how the world works through um, a logical mindset. And this is sort of how TI DOMs specifically like to process um, information and come to an understanding and knowledge of things through considering what is absolute true and valid and tossing out what cannot be proven to be true um, what is false what is invalid ti likes accuracy it likes consistency it wants to have a good solid um, logical constitution and framework in order to um, expand knowledge and to retain um, information that has been logically processed. Like with all introverted functions, um, TI will be deeper than TE. Um, however, it takes longer to process all this information. And don't get confused by subjective here. I didn't say subjective logic. That doesn't make sense at all. Um, what I mean is <clears throat> TI is, in a sense, a way of thinking, uh, a subjective thinking, just like Jung says in his chapter on introverted thinking in psychological types. Okay, so here's an example of extroverted thinking and inductive reasoning. Say we have <clears throat> a premise that 90% of children are right-handed, and the second premise says Bob is a child, and the conclusion is since Bob is a child and 90% of children are right-handed, it is most probable that Bob is right-handed. This conclusion, <clears throat> this premise, will most likely be accepted into the uh, TE DOM's external framework and logic because of the high probability and statistic that 90% of children are right-handed. 
T deals with more efficiency, probability, statistics, facts, sources, and it's more willing to accept this conclusion even though it is not absolutely certain. And it'll have this, or at least TE DOMS will have this mindset of, I can accept this fact, but I'll treat it as sort of like innocent until proven guilty. And they'll implement that fact any way they can in order to move forward, in order to be more productive, complete their tasks, achieve goals any way that they can. Whereas with TI and TI DOMS, most likely they will reject this conclusion based on the fact that it is not absolute and it cannot be validated and verified to be true because there's still a 10% chance that Bob could be left-handed and it does not match this internal framework and ways of processing information. A final example would be, say we have a TE DOM and a TI DOM and there's an experiment being conducted in a room and they're shown a coin and it's they're shown that one side of the coin is heads whereas the other side is unknown, it's not certain, but they're told that it could either be heads or tails. The experiment's conducted, um, it's, the coin's put into a machine, and 10 out of 10 times, the result is heads. So statistically, I think this is a, a 0009% chance of happening that every single time it would land on heads without this being shown. And <clears throat> if the TE DOM and the TI DOM were asked to um, check mark whether or not, yes or no, this coin is heads on both sides, the TE DOM would look at the empirical data and evidence and conclude that it's almost 99% certain that it is heads on both sides. And so they'd be more willing to check mark this box, move on uh, out of the room. And oh, let's just say after they check the box, they'll be shown the uh, result. They'll be showing the coin in person and they'll be able to see both sides to see whether or not they were correct. And so then the TE DOM would move on to the next room and do the next experiment and so on. The TI DOM, it's hard to say exactly whether they would pick uh, yes or no based on the fact that this, this unknown, this uncertainty um, is still there. Um, it could be just by luck that it that it was a uh, heads and tails coin and it just landed on heads 10 out of 10 times but the point is is that both te and ti are very logical they'd be able to come to this conclusion that it's almost certain that this coin has heads on both sides however the tei dam would um it would i guess they'd have a more difficult time um, checking the yes box. They're human beings, so I assume that they would, but there will be that hesitation, that skepticism there. And, you know, it's, it's hard to say, like, what they would pick. I'm assuming that they would say, yes, it's a, it's a you know, a coin with two two sides, but they'd probably need more time to verify all the information that they've seen, calculate, analyze with their internal framework, and um, they, they would just need more time to come to that conclusion. But I think in the end, they would also pick yes, you know, they'd go outside, see the result, go on to the next experiment, whereas T would be, you know, <laughs> just blazing through. Um, anyways, uh, I hope this has helped. I hope this is a bit clearer for understanding TI and TE, and thanks for watching.